an ironic electric Tacoma horror story. But first, let's go get some gas. Tacoma Horror Story for you today. And this is real. This really happened. But, like I said, we stopped. We got some gas. I was a little concerned that I'd be able to find gas right now, right? You keep seeing these news stories about people flocking to the gas stations, hoarding gas because of what's going on on the East Coast. You know, I'm in South Texas in the RGV, right? We're way away from that. We're not supplied by that same gas line, right? So we shouldn't have any problems here, but there have been some lines and things around here too, because you know, if you hear there's a shortage anywhere, you've gotta go hoard it. Now, I am pleased to say, as you saw, I did go to the gas station. I was able to fill up the Tacoma. So there was no horror story there. No problems trying to get gas from me, or for me rather, I am still mobile. Now, as far as pricing goes, I know prices have been all over the place, right? You keep hearing about these really expensive gas prices. Now, I will say, first of all, gas down here is cheaper anyway. A week ago, last Saturday, my wife told me that she saw gas, it was $2.59 a gallon. Now, that was a week ago. That's a pretty good price, I think. So, if you saw in the uh, shots there, I'm not sure if the camera picked it up, but I paid today, a week later, almost a week later, $2.79 a gallon. So it's 20 cents more per gallon. I understand that. But you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, 10 gallons is two bucks. I mean, you know, just don't buy that cup of coffee one day or something. I, I don't know, but I don't think that's too bad. And again, there was no problem with me finding gas. So what is this ironic Tacoma or electric Tacoma horror story I'm talking about? It's crazy, you know. I did a video not too long ago about an electric Tacoma and how much I would like to have that Tacoma. You know, there's been renderings of it and stuff, and I think it looks pretty cool. I like it. I'd buy it. But today, right? Today, I'm just getting ready to walk out of the house, go out, grab my keys to get gas. And at that instant, the power goes out. And I'm thinking, how ironic is this? I've been talking about the electric Tacoma and, you know, thinking I'd get one myself. And if it needed to be charged, all of a sudden I don't have any electric. And it happens now and then down here. I wouldn't say it's overly frequent, but it does happen that we lose power. And obviously, if you've got an electric Tacoma, you're not going to be able to charge it if you lose power, right? So the argument that you know, having electric would be more convenient. I can just plug it in in my garage. It'll be charged and ready to go. It's not so good when the electric goes out. And people have talked about, I think one of the biggest arguments for not having an electric Tacoma is the demand, the extra demand that having electric vehicles at all would put on the grid and that they wouldn't be able to keep up to supply all of the electric needs that we'd have if we all drove electric vehicles like this Tacoma. And it certainly rang true today. I mean, let's say that, I don't know, I forgot to charge it last night, so I was gonna plug it in for a little bit, run my errands or whatever. I wouldn't have been able to do that. I wouldn't have any electric. Now, let me add one thing to this, and I was a little concerned about this when I went to get gas this morning. And that is that, if the power goes out and there is no electric, you're not gonna be able to get gas either, unless the gas station you're going to has a backup generator, because they're not gonna have power either. And I thought about that 
just as I was backing out of my garage, you know, that dramatic shot where I was backing up this morning on the video, I, I thought about that, you know, gee, what if the gas station doesn't have power? I mean, I'm gonna drive over to the gas station, I'm gonna use gas to get gas, and they have no gas. Wouldn't that be ironic? So it has been a, uh, a day of irony when it comes to the Toyota Tacoma altogether for me. You know, the thought of going with an electric vehicle, not having any electricity to charge it, going to the gas station to get gas, not being able to fill it up because there's no electric to power the pumps. I mean, what a day, right? And it's amazing how dependent we are, right, on electricity. I mean, in the area I live, it's hot. Now, it's not so bad right now. It's 80 degrees and it's 11 o'clock in the morning. It's not horrible for here, but it's humid. It's going to start to get pretty sticky in the house if this power doesn't come back on and we can fire up that electricity, right? Let alone worrying about charging up my Tacoma. So that's another thing to, to be concerned about, I guess, is if the electric goes out and you live in an area where that happens frequently, like in some of these areas where they have rolling power, power outages, uh, do you have to be concerned about that? I don't know. Now, there is one other thing I wanted to mention. I just heard this the other day. It was about, I think it was uh, the Ford, it was either the Ford or the Chevy, the new electric full size that they're talking about coming out. And supposedly that thing, whichever one it is, can power your house, or at least part of your house, in the event of a power outage. Now, of course, if they're all electric, you gotta wonder, how long is that gonna last? I mean, the batteries in your truck are only gonna hold so much charge, right? So is it realistic to think that, gee, if the power goes out in my house, I'm gonna be able to hook my truck up to it and power my house for days? I don't think that's probably pretty likely. I think you'd probably be lucky if you got just a few hours out of it, but it's something that they're, they're touting, and I guess, you know, in a short power outage span or situation, Sounds like you'd be able to do it, who knows. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that. You know, this is a horribly ironic uh, day for me with the Toyota Tacoma in my thinking about going to an electric Tacoma. I don't know. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Would you be comfortable with an all electric Tacoma? Are you confident that you're even gonna have the power to charge it? I mean, still, gas is pretty abundant, right? So I don't think we have to worry about it at least probably in our lifetime, maybe, I don't know. But leave a comment, let me know what you think. Also, real quick, I do have an additional channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my gas-powered 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check it out. If you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.